everybody, Hoodie Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a special unboxing video. This, a big, very heavy box of stuff, was sent to me by Rob. And Rob, I don't know if you wanted me to use your full name in the video, so I'll just use your first name. Rob, uh, thank you very much for sending this to me. The only thing I know about what's in here is that uh, it has stuff from the 90s. There are 90s G.I. Joe stuff in here. Uh, and little did Rob know, but as I'm trying to decide what I'm going to review for 2017, um, one thing I'd like to do next year is I'd like to do a whole month of 90s stuff. A whole month of 90s. 90s G.I. Joe. Uh, and But actually I don't have a lot of 90s G.I. Joe, so it's just perfect timing that Rob sent this to me so I can kind of, I could probably use some of this stuff for a 90s month next year. So thank you, Rob. This is also an opportunity for me to learn more about the 90s. I was not collecting G.I. Joe in the 90s, uh, so I don't act, know as much about it as I do G.I. Joe in the 80s. So this is gonna be a great opportunity for me to get a better feel for the 90s and you know, kind of see what was uh, uh, out there in, uh, in that decade. So thank you again, Rob. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this. I've, I've already cut the box open so I can get inside it. Uh, and so I'm gonna open up, uh, open up the box and see what's in here. Okay, I have already cut the box open, so let's open it up. And the first thing I see is bubble wrap. Uh, now, I can never have too much bubble wrap. Uh, the cats will enjoy playing with the bubble wrap. Uh, so uh, bubble wrap, um, and we have a letter. Uh, now, I don't usually read these on uh, camera because I think these things are kind of personal. Um, these, um, these letters that you guys send me are just amazing um, and uh, very touching and to me very personal. So I don't, you know, publicize those, but I thank you to everyone who sends these to me, these really nicely worded letters and um, Rob, I'll try to re respond to this um, to you directly. Thank you so very much. Uh, some really, really nice words. Um, so uh, thank you, Rob. So let's, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at what's in here and I already see a lot of bright neon colors so we know we are in the 90s. So I'm gonna actually uh, pull up a chair and set this box over to the side so I can pull it out and set it up on the table here. Ah, so we can see what's in it. Okay, I had to zoom in a little bit better so hopefully you can see this well enough. So let's go ahead and dig in this thing. And the first thing I see right on the top, uh, this is an Eco Warriors figure. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, I think that's Flint. Eco Warriors Flint. Um, looks like that's who that's supposed to be. Um, now we have, man, this is, this is something. Uh, let's see, um, we have an um, orange guy with a blindfold, and I have to confess I am not 100% uh, certain who that guy is, uh, but uh, very brightly colored uh, tiger stripe uh, pants on there, Tony the Tiger Pants, fascinating. Uh, so uh, interesting, man, we got color. They liked their color in the 1990s, didn't they? Uh, this, I know who this is, <clears throat> I know who this is because, um, Half the Battle reviewed this guy recently. Uh, Timmer reviewed um, Iceberg, and uh, this is a later version of Iceberg with his yellow uh, mask on. So Iceberg, very handy. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Um, we have okay one that needs a new O-ring, um, and let's see. Uh, cesspool I believe unless I'm mistaken these eco warrior figures these are wild these are something else um, I know who this is uh, this more eco warriors I believe that's ozone ozone and uh, my gosh. Uh, this is okay um, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do some checking to remember who all these guys is. Now, if anything, up to like 1987-ish, I pretty much got in here. But it, when it starts to getting into um, 88, 89, I'm not. It's I don't remember everything with, without looking it up. And then in the 90s, I really have to look that stuff up uh, to remember it. So this guy, I'm not sure who he is, but he has a really fascinating yellow helmet. Um, 
And so I'll be interested in finding out who he is. Uh, who else we got? Oh, we got a Cobra Commander. We have a hooded Cobra Commander. There we go. Uh, oh, there we go. Hey, hey. See, now this is kind of stuff that I do need to uh, need to review. Uh, this is Major Blood. Major Blood. And let's see. Um, and this is a guy whose name I don't know. Let's see, that guy. You know, I, I know a lot of you 90s fans are going to be like, Oh, I know who all those people are. Well, uh, good. I'm glad you do. Um, and uh, eventually I will too. Um, so, let's see. Oh, look at that. This is one of my favorites. Stalker. And uh, let's see. Uh, oh, look at this. Okay, okay. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. We have a whole set. Stack, holy crap, of full card backs. Headhunters, Headhunters, uh, DEF. Oh man, this is this is something. Um, okay, so uh, lo by looking at these, I could probably figure out who some of these guys are. Um, so uh, I want to make sure to sort through these. I will be curating these. Some Battle Core. Um, yeah, yeah, Crimson Guard Commander, Dr. Mindbender, just amazing stuff. Uh, yeah, look at this, Ninja Force. It's so, it's, it is what it is, isn't it? Uh, okay, some file cards, yeah. Uh, yeah, Talking Battle Commanders with electronic sound. Cobra Commander, that was that Cobra Commander. Um, Stalker. Uh, General Hawk. Um, okay, so I'm going to set these aside because there are so many of them. I'm going to have to take some time to look through all of these, uh, but that's amazing. That is incredible. And you know, for my reviews, I need the file cards or the full card back, and that's a lot of full card backs for the 90s. And this is just incredible. Oh, hey, here's a familiar face. It's Chabong, Ninja Force. And, uh, looks like, um, Falcon and oh there's a later version of rock and roll I wish the lighting were a bit better in here so you can see it better I apologize for that there is a general hawk and man I gotta it's gonna take a while to get through these I hope you guys don't mind but I'm gonna go through all of these because this is awesome uh, this, if I'm not mistaken, is bulletproof. I think I've had some requests to review that guy. Um, oh, something made a noise. Something made a noise. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, whoever this guy is, his thingy made a noise. Uh, let's see. What did it do? Did I push a button? Let's see. Can you hear that? Okay. So we have a, an electronic noisemaker. Uh, we have uh, Ninja Force Snake Eyes. Ninja Force. You know, I've done a few Ninja Force videos and I've been a little brutal on them. But I have to admit, they're starting to grow on me a little bit. Um, it's, I don't know, I can't explain it, but there's just something about them. Um, and it looks like we have, this is Cutter. And, man, we've got accessories with these. I don't know who that guy is, but he sure is orange. Wow. Um, and uh, this, oh, I saw this guy. Hold on. Is that guy? Uh, no, that's not the same guy. Okay. Um, there's this guy. Who I'll find out who he is. I'll find out. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, and uh, here's the Ninja Force Scarlet. We know Ninja Force Scarlet. And this is the uh, variant that has the uh, ball jointed head so her head can move around, not just the swivel head. Um, what else we got? We got Cross Country, second version of Cross Country. Uh, and we've got, now this is, 
I'm pretty sure Mutt. I'm pretty sure that is Mutt and Junkyard. Mutt. All right. Keep going. Oh, hey, we got more. Oh, look at that. More paperwork. Okay, these are some. <clears throat> these are some of the catalogs that you would get in vehicles. That's awesome. See a 90, uh, 1987 catalog. That looks like a 1986 catalog. Man, I wish the lighting were better in here. An 85. Uh, that looks like a 1984. Uh, that's got to be an 83. These are in order. You're very organized, uh, Rob, I have to say. Uh, let's see, Operation Deep Six, check that out. Um, I, I'm going to try as much as I can uh, to include some of these in reviews because I do mention a lot in my reviews that some figures were available for mail away, um, and but it's nice to actually have, be able to show you the mail away catalogs uh, in which they were available. Um, so I, I will try to remember to do that more often. Uh, there's a uh, Sergeant Slaughter, and Top Secret Dispatch, um, and a uh, Live the Adventure, Invade Cobra Island. There you go. So that now this stuff is really cool. Um, I like this stuff. This is really useful and great, very good information. A great way to uh, dig up some information on these old uh, toys um, to actually see what was in the catalog. Okay, there is Snake Eyes with his blue and gray. There you go. Um, okay, some packing material. Uh, let's see. And that looks like a probably a version of Roadblock, I'm assuming. Roadblock. And uh, let's see. This is um who is this? Is this Budo? Am I misremembering that? I'll check. I'll check. I'm gonna look all these guys up. Here we got uh, Alley Viper. Crazy colors on that Alley Viper. Just really interesting accessories, though. Uh, you know, I do know a bit about the Alley Viper, and um, the the colors are our colors are wild, no doubt about that. But the um, uh, the accessories I've always thought were very interesting. Um, a later version of the bat. I think that's the bat version two, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I see. This is what I'm talking about. These things. These. See, this is the kind of stuff that people are asking for. That's a Crimson Guard Immortal. Just beautiful, lovely, lovely, lovely with accessories. Very nice, very nice. And the, and the I don't have most of these, so um, this is all. This is going to be very beneficial to future reviews. So um, I hope uh, I hope we can use these to good effect for the channel. This, uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, is sci-fi. Later version of sci-fi. And ha, here's one I've had my eye on for quite a while. That's Nunchuck. Very nice. Very nice. Um, let's see. Who else we got here? We got this guy. And this may be one of the headhunters. Am I mistaken about that? Headhunters, maybe. Um, and then... Uh, um, that guy, whose name is escaping me, and I apologize, but that guy. Um, let's see, who else we got? Oh, <laughs> uh, this this one always makes me laugh. That's Zartan, uh, second version of Zartan with his orange mohawk. That's really something. So Ninja Force Zartan, beautiful. Uh, let's see, what else we got here? Oh, we got Destro. Destro. Uh, you know, this is a really interesting look. It's kind of a throwback to his uh, old silver helmet uh, version one. Um, this is this is um, Firefly version two. I think that's right. I, I, this one I always get mixed up because I know that the second version of Firefly looks just nothing like the first version. 
uh, just wildly different. Uh, so let's move on. Um, and this guy, let's see, got some more. I think I've had some requests to review him. Oh, wow. Um, and this is uh, a snow serpent. Snow serpent. Looks pretty different from the snow serpent we've already looked at, doesn't it? Uh, let's see. Here we got. Um, this, I could be mistaken, I get my October Guard mixed up, but Big Bear, I think? Uh, let's see. This is getting to be a huge pile, and there's still a lot in here. So please stick with me, guys. Please stick with me. Uh, I think... Uh, I think Outback, I believe, uh, and I think there was a variant of this one with the different different colors. Uh, this is oh, what suit? What suit? What suit? Some of these I recognize because I've looked at them at, when I'm researching uh, reviews that I've already done of earlier versions of these figures. So some of them I recognize pretty much right off. But in a lot of them, I really have to think about it. Um, there you go. Here, I'm just Ninja Force. Now, I know some of you guys are Ninja Force fans. And so, you're going to dig these. Even if some of them hurt me, you're going to dig them, right? Ninja Force. Um, okay. What we got here? This has got to be... I don't know. Let's check that out. And this guy. Uh, okay. And uh, let's see. I believe an enemy of DEF. And let's see. Oh, I did that one. There we go. This is a general flag. I have, like, one of these figures, but it's all badly scuffed up and missing everything. This one's in a nice shape. Excellent. Um, this is... Believe it or not, despite the giraffe pants, I believe that is Leatherneck. There. Uh, let's see. Keep them going. Keep them going. Keep them going. Uh, let's see. I'm going to call this guy Mr. Green. There we go, Mr. Green, uh, for today's purposes. Um, here is uh, Mr. Blue. Mr. Blue. Let's see. Oh, here's one that actually has been requested uh, and that I've been wanting to get complete for that purposes. Th those purposes. That's Duke. Duke with accessories. That it was. I had the figure. It was the accessories that I didn't have, and this is going to. This will complete that. I mean, it looks great, uh, and a really interesting version of Duke. I'm looking forward to uh, reviewing that one. Uh, this, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is Doctor Mindbender. Let's see, yeah, yeah Doctor Mindbender. Uh, then we have. Uh, now this, I believe, is. Oops. Um, Beachhead. Let's see. Beachhead. And I dropped some stuff. Put it back in here. Don't want to lose anything. Okay. Beachhead. Very good. Um, uh, and this guy is uh, Mr. Yellow. Mr. Yellow. I'm, I'm, fair, I'm fairly confident that's his code name. Um, and let's see. Uh, who is this guy? Desert guy. Definitely a desert guy. There we go. Uh, it's pretty sad how much I don't know about the 90s, but I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. Um, uh, Colonel Courage, I think. Uh, now, you may be disappointed whenever I get a name wrong, but I'm excited whenever I get one right. That, that's like, that's a win for me. Uh, let's see. Mr. Purple, and uh, that looks like our old buddy Wild Bill. Uh, all right, this is taking up my whole table. Yeah, 
Uh, oh, here we go. Gung Ho, one of my old favorites. Gung Ho with his uh, with his little American flag there. Gung Ho. Let's see. And this is uh, this is uh, man. I know this one, but I'm not placing it. But there's that guy. Man, that's just on the tip of my brain. Man, if I thought about it for a little bit more, I'd probably remember. But I'm blanking on that one. This is, I think, uh, Clean Sweep. Uh, now, I love the all the um, uh, Eco Warriors stuff in here. Um, it's just... It's special. It really is. Um, this is uh, Cobra Eels. Looks like he's got all of his stuff. We're almost at the end, folks. We're almost at the end. Oh, yeah. Zap. Zap. All right. Uh, this guy is... Uh, let's see. This is guy is... Um, He's got a dolphin. It's a, it's a it's a squeeze toy doll. It's like a it's like a doggy chew toy dolphin. Um, so therefore, I call this guy dolphin. Uh, this, I'm I'm going to uh, flipper. This is flipper. There we go. So flipper and okay, final one, last one uh, is I think it is yeah bazooka. Well. Um, all I can say is is wow, um, Rob. This is uh, that basically you know you have in one box solved all my '90s problems uh, because uh, I knew that I needed to get to a lot more '90s Joes next year. Um, I wasn't sure how I was going to get all those '90s Joes because it's usually not my collecting focus. But um, you know, this is this is way more than I would possibly need to uh, to do. Basically, probably everything I need to do next year. So, uh, Rob, thank you very much. Um, the um, this uh, uh, that you sent to me and the letter that you wrote to me uh, that means more to me than I can tell you. Um, it's really uh, just guys like you who keep me going um, and keep me motivated. Um, and uh, it really makes this uh, special. This, it makes this whole project uh, more than just talking about toys. And it means something to me, and I hope it means something to you too. So thank you, Rob, for sending this to me. Um, and uh, I, will, I will talk to you soon. Uh, and thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.